Hello again. So today I'm going to be doing some in-depth zoom testing with the Mavic 3 Pro. On a previous video with the Mavic 3 Pro, I've just touched lightly on the zooming capabilities, the 24mm to the 70mm to the 168mm. That's one times, three times and seven times optical zoom. So today I'm going to be picking a nice subject, Bolsover Castle. First of all, we're going to test the optical ranges. That's at 24mm optical, 70mm optical and then 168mm optical. And then secondly, I'm going to be doing more of a detailed zoom. In between the optical lenses is digital, so I'm not a fan of that. But I just want to show you that today. Because when the Mavic 3 Pro jumps to each separate lens, it kind of does a wobble. And that's why I wanted to show you today. Because if anybody out there is just interested in how the zoom works, especially the digital zoom, then you come to the right place. Because I'm going to do an in-depth test all the way from 24mm and then beyond 168mm on the digital and then I'll slowly zoom back. Let's unpack the Mavic 3 Pro and let's get to it. I did that rather quick didn't I? I'm going to be using the DJI RC Pro today as it's got a better reception. I do prefer it a lot more than the other RC. It's just a lot sturdier, it's got better range. The overall quality of this is better than the original one. Right, let's get to it. I want you to get a good view of this so you can really see the detail on the zoom. So instead of filming the screen, which will get a bit of glare off, I'm going to switch to the screen recording. Here we go. Soon you'll see a white flag, there you go. That's the subject for today, Bowls Over Castle. So I'm going to be doing some zoom tests on this. It's a great subject for it. You'll be able to pick out the detail between each lenses as I'm trying to get across to people who are interested in this camera or you're just in, interested in the focal length of the zoom range. As I was before I purchased this, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube that went into depth between each lens and I've seen plenty of people zooming in fast with that step between each one, what I'm not too happy about. So I just wanted to put that out there so people can see. All right, that's Bowls of a Castle. Let's do some zoom tests on this. Here we go. So now I'm at 24mm on the Hasselblad camera. That's a fixed lens at 24mm. Now as you can see to the right there's a number 3. If I hit that, that then jumps to the 70mm lens. And then I'm going to tap the number 7 there to the right of the screen. And that's going to send us into 168mm. Again, this is true optical as well. Here we go. As you can see that's really crisp. So there you see a 24mm fixed lens. You jump to the 3. That's 70 millimetre, and then we'll jump to the 7, and that's now at 168 millimetre. 1, 3, and 7, very usable. I have no problems with any of those lenses. Now we'll get to the nitty gritty, and we'll zoom between each lens, and you'll see the digital zoom, and you can judge for yourself. Here we go. To digitally zoom, you have to switch over to the explore mode, which I'm doing right now. That then supports the fluid zoom between each lens, as I'm going to demonstrate right now. First of all, I'm going to zoom in as fast as the zoom lens lets me. Here we go, just so you can see the step. And that's all the way to 28 times digital zoom. I'm going to zoom back out at full speed again. There we go. Now to make this a bit more interesting, so you can see exactly what I'm on about when it jumps to each lens, where I don't really think it's usable, I'm going to demonstrate that to you now. So I'm going to slowly zoom in, here we go, this is all usable. Now I'm at two times, gets a bit grainy, now it's going to hit the three times and jump lens as you've just seen, now it's using all digital once again. It's just jumped as you saw that, now it's all digital again right to 28 times. It's okay if you're in a place you're not familiar with and you just want to zoom in to scope out what's there but when you're making videos it's just not usable. I'm going to slowly zoom out all the way back to 24mm now just to show you. Optical, now it's digital.
So as you can see there, the steps in between, I don't think it's usable for making high-end videos, but it's okay for just messing around. I'll find another subject just so I can demonstrate. I'm now at 20 digital zoom on explore mode. I'm going to zoom out as fast as the RC will let me again, right back to 24 mil. Here we go. And I'll zoom in quickly again so you can see the steps. There, there. And now I'll zoom back to 24 millimeters slowly so you can see. Let's now jump to the other lens. And jump to the other lens. Right back to 24 millimeters. Right, I've picked another subject. This subject's called Morrison's. I don't know if you've ever heard of that before. <laughs> There's just a shopping center, center frame, if you can see that. Morrison's. So I'm going to zoom in on the Morrison sign at full speed. Here we go. And you can see great detail in that one. The sun's actually behind the drone, so it's lighting that up rather well. That's at 28 times digital zoom. I'm going to zoom all the way back to 24 millimeters at full speed, just to show you again. There we go. Now let's do a slow, smooth zoom all the way. Here we go. And it changes lenses there. And it changes lenses again. And there you go, oh wait to 28 times. Now in centre frame, that white building, it's the weather spoons. From this distance you won't be able to see that it says weather spoons. But again I'm going to zoom in fast, all the way to the weather spoon sign, and then I'm going to zoom all the way back to 24 millimetres. There we go, that's at full 28 times zoom digitally. Now I'll come back to 24 millimetres rather rapid. I'm going to hover the zoom just before it changes lenses so you can see the jump as I want you to see this. So let's get to where it says three times. Right there. So if I just pull back. Now on, so it's there. That's improved a lot with the latest update. I'm just going to show you. So now it's at the 24 millimeter lens at digital and it will, and it will hop in a second. Now, now that's on the 70 millimeter and that's zooming in all digitally now. And it hopped again, you see that? I'll just reverse that. There. So now this is nearly at maximum on the 70 millimeter lens and now it's going to jump to the third lens at 168 millimeter. I'll slowly zoom in now and you'll see that happen. See that? From the 24mm to the 70mm, that seems to be more of a smoother jump. But from the 70mm lens to 168mm lens, as you see now, a bit more of an aggressive jump there. Right, time's up on the drone, time to bring her back. that's it we're grounded for today so i hope you enjoyed that video today just testing out the mavic 3 pro zoom lenses at one times three times and seven times that's 24 millimeters 70 millimeters 168 millimeters those three are all optical as i've demonstrated between those optical lenses you can get digital zoom i don't find it very usable you'll be able to judge that for yourself now you've just seen this video i hope you're enjoying these videos which i'm posting as I'll be posting a lot more in the near future. Testing active track again. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. So I'll be doing some more testing in the near future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.